Capcom enforcing rage quit punishments. Do I have any opinions on this? I mean, you're the one to give me the topic. I really don't care about the <laughs> ranking system. Just... Yeah, I, I, I've actually played, I think, three ranked games since the game's been out. Yeah, I don't I really think. Okay. Yeah, I don't play ranked at all. I'd rather play a first of five or a first of ten or whatever so I can actually learn and understand a matchup. You know, I feel like ranked is just like, okay, you played one game, congratulations. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know. Like, you know, the, the game is new. I don't really care what... How many points are next to my name on the online? I wanna, I wanna understand my matchups, and I feel like the better way to do that is playing those long sets where you, where you're able to, you know, try, you know, you, you try. Oh, I heed to this. I'm just gonna try and punish it with this. Who cares? It's not ranked. We're playing a first to ten. You know, it lets you experiment a little bit within the realm of the match, and you know, potentially, um, that's my thing about it. You know, yeah, screw like, a rank. Uh, like the, the uh, I feel the same way. But there is um, there's certain players or lobbies. I mean, there's gonna be lobbies in the new version mm -hmm. um, that like uh, you must be a gold, you must be gold or platinum or whatever to like play me or whatever. So I think that's the only way that it would really matter. But at the same time, not really. Rank matches are just like look at me matches basically. Right? Like, like I learned most from first to tens. Uh, I know the yeah. I know I know the Nakali match like inside and out. I played that yeah. like so much, <laughs> and that was thanks that was thanks to Battle Lounge, not rank uh -huh. matches, you know. Yeah, no, I, me me too. I play first to tens with uh, Javits over here who uses Nakali also. Mm -hmm. Angel, you know, he uses Bison. Um, uh, Pat over here, he, him and I had multiple sets with his Laura. You know that that all you know helped me learn the match a little bit. You know, what I'm saying now I just gotta offline or what? Offline? No, on, on, online, online, okay. online. Yeah. On that, but yeah, you know, doing doing first of tens, first of fives, and again, it helps me really understand the match, so I don't get hit by that random setup at final round. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's much easier to train your muscle memory for stuff like that when it's the first of ten because yeah. you know, it's you're not your thoughts aren't scrambled. You're not like, oh, I just want to beat this guy one time. It's more yeah. like I want to you know train against this particular thing over and over and over yeah. until it's drilled in my fucking head. You know, mm -hmm. that's why. I don't really play ranked either. It's just, I feel like it's just a, yeah, it's whatever. Do you think yeah. the, the stability of the the network is getting better? I, I kind of feel that I'm getting, that I mean, there there's, um, in Japan, like around 12 a.m. to like, whatever, 3, 4 a.m. or something, like, like pretty much those are the times where whenever I find someone, like, it doesn't list their like <coughs> points or like, or anything. It just lists like dash, 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 right? Like, uh, where's like, what the fuck was I going with this? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, wait, 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 so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's when like the server takes a shit, right? And then it just like it pairs you up with random people, but it doesn't show you their info, okay. all right? But it's still pretty different, different. Yeah. okay, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm finding that I'm getting, I'm actually getting matched up with people that are my same level, and uh, and I, I, I think overall, like, I haven't had, um, What's, what's, what's the right term? The lag switch thing. Like, that hasn't happened to me yet. Oh, the rollback? Yeah, the rollback? I don't know if they've fixed that or anything, or if it's even possible. I have moment. no idea. It's, it might just be a crapshoot. It could just happen to some people, you know, it just won't happen to some people. I don't know. I mean, it always happened to me in the very beginning. Like, like oh, really? Like that. And, and now I don't think I've experienced it. And, and you know, when you set it to like, you know, one, two, five stars or four and five only or whatever, like, in my experience, yeah. that doesn't really lead me to another person that has a good connection <laughs> it's just they're just putting it there for fun or something like that yeah that's why i don't really play on like rank because it's just you never know like what the connection is going to be like i'd rather play someone locally that i know like like i hit someone up on like twitter or something hey are you like are you in california and i know the connection will be good like even if i play like ryan from norcal mm -hmm. the connection is awesome yeah. so i like mm -hmm. playing those kinds of sets rather than just a random person on ranked yeah, I played a I played a couple of sets with Valle, and we're across the country. I mean, it felt okay to me. I'm not sure how it was on his end, but it was definitely bearable. You know, I wasn't like, oh wow. my god, this shit is like, yeah, it really wasn't that bad. Nice. I've played some people from California, and it was it was doable. And then I yeah. uh, I tried to play with uh, with Rico the other day, and mm -hmm. New York and Japan is obviously much much farther, <laughs> <laughs> and that was pretty bad so it's about double the distance yeah, yeah that makes sense though <laughs> the that, location just, definitely matters yeah that's just physically impossible you know <laughs> that's just <laughs> yeah um shit these results are like a bit 
outdated though. But the uh, winner uh, cans results with um, shit. I don't even know. I don't even know that guy's name. Did, one. Yeah, Daniel, oh, uh, are we talking about are we talking about Mr. Crimson or whatever? yeah, 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 the Laura prayer. Did you did you guys watch that? I thought it was pretty all right. <laughs> and Laura, I think is actually very scary. She's one of the like this. I think she's the best grappler in the game. Yeah, I think I, I think Laura and Mika are. I don't want to say the same character, but they both want to do the same thing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying yeah. like yeah. they they have that kind of like explosive like up oh, i'm in or up oh, i grabbed you, you know, <laughs> yeah. now. honestly we we call them both street fighter 4 characters in street fighter 5 no that's yeah it that's feels like, like it, it I, feels that, like i'm playing four yeah that's what i've been saying i feel like laura is and amika are like the most vortex based characters yep. because all of their setups lead into the same thing like you yep. have to guess you have to guess all right oh shit i guessed three times wrong yep. and i'm and that's it yep. dude so, i, I I just lost last night because I got jumped in on once. <laughs> once. I lost. I was yep. like, oh, okay, now here we go. He hit me with some crazy setup. I couldn't tell what the hell was going on. Then he scooped me, then he stunned me, and I died. Your, uh, your EX flash kick is not invincible, right? Uh, yeah. It's like the second frame or something like that. And it's only like upper body. It's something weird. It, it can't it, be used as wake up, though. It's not invincible at all, but upper body. Body is invincible the first three or four frames. Yeah, that's why it's, it's a godly yeah. anti-air. But yeah, you can't just you can't just do it on wake up. Yeah, yeah, you can't do it on wake up. Balance top five. Right, right, yeah, top five. Like, what do you guys think at this point? Uh, bison, 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 bison. Yeah, same here. All right, all right. Yeah, next, uh, yeah. next topic. Uh, <laughs> next topic. <laughs> Peace, motherfuckers. I'm out of here. Okay. God damn it. But the Bison Haters Podcast is, is that what this is called? <laughs> Um, yeah, as I was telling Joe, um, Ryu has to be on everybody's list. Um, it doesn't really matter that Ryu was like um, an honorable character in past games, like he had to use, you know, somewhat have Shoto skills. I don't think, I, I think that doesn't apply in this game. I think this, oh, game, yeah, no, I think he's top three for sure. Frame trap, easy frame traps, a good fireball. Uh, he has a DP, which is a, which is a big deal in this game. Yes, mm-hmm. very big deal. Yeah, yeah. Um, he has to be on everyone's list. Um, I can't really... I've never even thought about it, to be honest. Um, Ryu, Laura. Mm-hmm. Let me look at the fucking character list. Why? You think Laura's that good, huh? For a top five? Well, uh, let me tell you this, okay? Uh, Dashio is the super fucking meta player of the year. Like, any character, <laughs> any character that he picks is really complex, really deep, really good. And Dash mm-hmm. was like, he saw Laura, and he was like, I'm, I'm going to use Laura. And uh, he, uh, in mo- most likely, he's not going to go to final round, but he was talking about it like a week ago. Um, mm-hmm. Most likely not, though. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm assuming it's not going to happen. But Good. Yeah. Good. Keep <laughs> that full home, this one. <laughs> <laughs> Stay home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, I think Laura's really good. I mean, uh, when she's hitting you, that, that's just scary. Like, of yeah, course, it's scary like, as hell. When elbow is blocked, like every other move in this game, like, you can find a way to get out of the pressure, but when she's hitting you, like that's legit. She can kill you. Yeah. She can kill yeah. you. I mean, mm-hmm. you have to be a good player to be able to to sense what your opponent's uh, next move is going to be, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. So if it's, you're it's that definitely... player, then Laura's good. Yeah, you definitely have to guess out of that. If you get hit by the the shoulder or the the, the jab bolt, mm-hmm. you just have to guess. The next thing you do is just guess. Yeah. So hey. so Nash Bison, like we're at her mercy, like when. When uh when she's hitting us right, uh, yeah. But on the on the opposite spectrum, she's free on her wake up. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it's a bit it's a bit weird because I don't want to get close to her because obviously I can get hit. Yeah. But <laughs> but I know she can't do anything. So my way of hitting her is only like via being up close to her, right? So it's a, it's a weird dynamic that you have to figure out and balance. Bison. <laughs> That's it. But it's cool because his teleport is cheap. Gotta mention that. <laughs> Bison is the best, and then after that, five seconds later, his teleport is cheap. You gotta mention that. <laughs> so, so who who are your top three, Kim? You're gonna say Chen, Ryu? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, how how could I forget Chen? Chen is number one, absolutely for sure. Like, uh, no one's gonna deny that. I'm gonna yeah, say that. absolutely. I think everyone agrees yeah. with that. Uh, let's let's see here. Okay, just just to make a list and not sit on the fence, uh, Chun Ryu. 
Cami Laura. Uh, okay. uh, Vega, Vega can be up there too. Um, but I do think that Vega is uh, a bit simplistic and he might get figured out later on. But at the See, moment... See, that's... Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry, that's like kind of sort of how I feel about Nash. I feel like everyone was like, oh my god, this character is so good. And then as the days progress and the game develops, it's like, yeah, I guess he's okay. Yeah, he's, he's all right. You know, like uh, all that yeah. stupid moonsault shit is not real. And, you know, like <laughs> over, overhead's not safe. You know, like a lot of stuff people are kind of, you know, piecing together and like why he, he's not as good as pe people were legit saying that Nash is the best character in the game. I was like, you are completely out of your mind. He's no. definitely not the best character in the game by a long shot. He, ha he has a lot of... Um, he has good tools. He, he does a, have like, a, good tools. Uh, he's, he's, he's very... I don't want to say he's a scrub character, but he's not like a complex character to play. <laughs> mm -hmm. like, he's, um, combos aren't, aren't hard. Um, he has overheads that make sense. You know, press forward and strong. Like You're not doing a, a complex command or anything. Um, damage is good. Good super... Uh, amazing V-trigger. Like, that, that mm -hmm. is basically his reversal, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but I do think that his mobility is a little bit. It's it's gonna it's gonna get figured out later on. Mm. Yeah, and defense. For yeah. Sure. yeah, this is what I'll tell you. Right Bef before 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 final release of the game, mm -hmm. Nash was considered bottom two. This is before the all the 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 buffs to him. Did you know there was a version where Nash could not combo his moonsault slash at all unless it was counter hit. Oh. It was yeah, it was awful. He was so bad. So that's why... I don't know what the reason actually, was. I, I think he was... Well, he in the betas, he was super good, right? Mm -hmm. Because he had a lot of stuff. Like, he could combo crouch short and target combo. Like stand yeah, that was, combo. that was so good. Crouch short, stand jet, stand medium punch. That <laughs> yeah, that bad. was kind of ridiculous. But now he's... I think he's fair now. I don't think he's top tier at all. I think he's maybe top... 10 but that's not saying much that's just saying yeah. everyone everyone is top 10 yeah. you know <laughs> I mean, he's he's very binary like he's either there or there he doesn't really have really good uh, uh you know analogous movement like he's there, he's not gonna play footsies with you he's just gonna press buttons or dash away mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and his defense is really bad unless uh he be reversals yep so yeah I, I could see him falling off i think he's i like playing him i think he's really fun but yeah, I think I it's fun see, to use too. Yeah, he's really fun. <laughs> if you like Sagai, I could see I could totally see you <laughs> playing him. <laughs> I mean, like, are you for the most part like just slipping in and out or playing a keep away game? Like what is the style that you're using? Me? No, even then. Yeah, what even if you he... Go ahead, Joe. Okay, well, um it's it honestly depends. Um and I've had a couple people like actually tell me that my Nash feels different from other Nash because I feel like a lot of other Nashes, they either want to do one of two things. They're either dashing back and throwing booms, mm -hmm. you know, or other ones are just like jumping and pressing buttons. Like I watch Infiltration, I'm like, this guy's going nuts. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. he's going nuts. <laughs> um, and then a couple people have mentioned to me that the way that I play Nash is that I, I, I kind of do a little bit of both where I pick my spots pretty well where I'm like, okay, I'm going to wait for my turn going to run back i'm going to you know be patient throw some booms do some sights stuff like that and then you know when i see an opening where i can get in i'll go and kind of you know i won't do anything too risky because nash has not low health but a little bit but i think he has 950 so i don't you know i don't want to give any openings up but you know i'll go in and you know throw some frame traps and do a couple things and try to stay plus with regular ex boom or ex moon salt and stuff like that and then i'll back up again and kind of play that, you know, all right, hold on, wait, let me chill for a second and kind of map out my next move. Um, I think I have to be more, uh, I guess, more creative in the way that I play. Cause I feel like every time I have V-Trigger, I use it the same way. And every time I do something else, I, like, I'm, I'm, I'm becoming, like, textbook, I think, in my own play. And the game is only, like, two weeks old. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so but, I gotta... you, but you're just, like, um, solidifying how you want to play at the moment. Yeah, so that's not, true. That's true. Bad, right? yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, sure. um, for you Nash experts out there, um, is there a way? Uh, okay, obviously V trigger, react, uh, jump forward, or and uh, stick out an attack. Is there a, a bait that Nash can do to stop that? That and he could like, like I was thinking that like if I always react with like jump up and do an attack, they can do like, for example, they can V trigger horizontally 
and then get me with some like uh it is really hard or something I, I was trying, yeah, actually it, it's it. actually hard to react to the v trigger it's pretty difficult yeah. yeah but i mean that's technically the answer right yeah, yeah. so if i can't think of if, anything better to oh no, yeah, yeah. so if it. yeah if you're the one defending and you're you're afraid to move mm-hmm. and you see the v trigger flash you hold up forward and press a jab mm-hmm. you'll like 99 percent either get hit of the air or you'll hit him and you won't get comboed right mm-hmm. but that's yeah, that's like the main thing people need to get used to what, defending what, against what Nash. If, what if Nash, um, instead what of... What if he reads that? Yeah, he mean, like, like he goes back. Wait, can you go backwards? Like if you're jumping forward, like can you go to the no. right, for example? No. Is that no. Right? Okay, so you can't do anything then. He, he really just can't really do anything about that. And then you made him waste his V trigger. Okay. Yeah. Because I was just thinking like down the road, evil finals or something, like I'm going to get hit by some Ultra. I, ultra honestly, critical. Angel... Angel hates the way that I use it because I'll just do it. Like I will straight up just do it, and he, he's like, "Yep, this is this is the classic joke." He goes, "Yep, that's the way Capcom intend you to use it." <laughs> he's like, "Hey, you need the you need the you need the forward one, right? You're the the front yep, end like, yep, all yep. the time. Even, yeah. It's like eighty percent success rate. Everybody yep. walk into it. The walk yep. of shame, right? They just walk into your your fist. <laughs> I'll just I'll just be there standing there and I'll just be like I'll just like, <laughs> everyone reacts the same way. They walk into it. That shit's so funny. I'll just press it. It 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 does work good when you're able to throw out an EX boom because EX boom you can cancel the V trigger at any point of the EX boom. Yeah. So it's kinda like, you know, it kinda makes you flinch a little bit for a second. The regular boom, you can't V trigger until the whole boom animation's done. So, no. but at least when you have the bar, you can kind of set up some weird kind of, you know, iffy things, I guess. Okay. Top. So, so he's mid tier then. Hey, I will. I, I think yeah. so. I think he's mid tier. Mid tier is not a bad thing. It yeah, the most, gen- bad because the most the most generous I would put him is like bottom upper tier. Yeah. Like he, but just because uh, he he sets the tempo of the match all the time. Like he's the one, you know, asking questions. Like, what are you gonna do about this? What are you gonna do about this? Yeah. And most, most, a lot of characters in the game actually have a hard time answering that. You know, like the grapplers, they have to take some kind of risk. So that's mm-hmm. the, that's the main reason I would give him a bump over traditional characters. Yeah. And then whenever Bison does scissor kick him, I just view reversal out of the corner and I'm gone. <laughs> I'm, gone. <Peace. laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Can't wait to see you in person, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, before we, we move on to um, another person's top five list, um, what do you think about Bison Nash, by the way? Um, I, I think it's it's a, quite a tricky matchup. Like, uh, I feel that, like, I'm chasing you, and then mm-hmm. that could lead to my demise. Um, yeah. Because I could be running into a frame trap or a throw yep. or something like that. So That's, that's actually how I learned to play... Uh... The match. I mean, when the game first came out, I feel like I was kind of like you doing the uh, infiltration Nash, where I was just moon salt and pressing buttons and <laughs> crash medium punch, crash medium punch, crash medium punch, crash medium. Like I was just going nuts with buttons and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then um, I learned how to kind of sort of calm down as the game went on. I, I I think the match might actually be in Nash's favor, only because Bison wants you in the corner. You know, he wants to be plus. And the thing is. A lot of his moves that are plus, I'm just like, okay, he hit me. He can't throw my V reversal because he used a heavy attack. So I'm just like, all right, I'm out of here. You know what I'm saying? And then I just kind of like what Long said, I just completely reset the tempo. Now I'm running away and I'm throwing booms and he's jumping. And he does, Nash does have a couple of things. Back medium kick completely beats devil's reverse 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No questions asked. When Bison does, when he's in V trigger and does EX head stomp, Jump back, air throw beats EX head stomp. When he does devil reverse inside V trigger, where he goes to the other side, EX moonsault beats that clean. So he does have a lot of answers for a lot of the things that Bison wants to do. And I'll just sit there and wait for Bison to dash. I'm like, oh, he dashed at me. And I, it's like clearly like an entire second from, okay, he's dashing at me. I'm going to press down medium punch and he's going to walk into my crouch. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. I mean, uh, Bison has to. Be more proactive. Um, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that's how he because he can't 
you can't do it. I mean, unless I have unlimited EX meter, then for sure <laughs> I can fight from, from further away. Yeah, or I, yeah. can, I can find a lot of ways to get in, but that's that's the gamble, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so top five, top three? Um, I think... I think Cammy's. This is in like no order, you know. I think uh, I think Cammy's very good. I feel like she's the only character where you can block like two or three normals, and then you could still get hit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like a lot of oh, times, yeah. a lot of the cast is like, all right, you block two normals, and now nine times out of ten, everything else is gonna whiff, or they can just maybe hit you with like a normal. Kami does like crouch medium punch, crouch medium punch, and then you move and she hits you with stand fierce. I'm like, you just, or you know, like whatever she does, <laughs> crouch like, crouch like, crouch medium punch, stand fierce. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. She's still in range. You know, um, her walk speed I think is uh, good. And the fact that we were kind of just talking about, I don't want to say the S word, but the shimmy word, you know, like <laughs> she, she plays that game like super, super well, super well. Um, yeah, but I, I, I I think uh, I think Cammy's very good. I think I'll be honest. I've only played like two or three Ryu's. I don't know if it's a bad matchup for Ryu. Like I don't know if Nash might beat Ryu, um, but I I think he's very good. Like I'm actually very surprised that he's. Uh, everyone says he's like top one or top two. Honestly, yeah. um, I I don't think he's bad whatsoever. I would definitely give him top five. But to hear that people think he's the best character in the game, I'm like wow. Like. Either either these guys over here suck, or maybe it's a bad it's a bad matchup or something. But I would really like to play some serious ass like high level, extremely competent Ryu. But I do think Ryu is good. I think Cammy's good. Um, I do think Bison is good. I'm sorry, Kim. I think Bison is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. cool, cool. Thanks for whatever you say. Um, uh, after. After oh sorry Chun I th I feel like that's the one that's that's you know that's clear cut and dry that Chun is extremely good mm -hmm. um so so I think Chun Ryu Kami Bison and the next one I'm 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 not sure about I think uh, I'm not sure about Laura I'm not sure about like Mika I think they're good but they're good at what they do you know what I'm saying and yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um that whole like. Ex they remind me of like Makoto kind of started in Street Fighter 4. Maybe uh, better than them. I'm sorry, better than her. But that same kind of deal where once they get started, you you're, you could lose the game. You know, you could 100% lose the game. But um, I, I always have trouble picking a fifth. Um, I'm not sure if it's them. Uh, I think Ken is really good, actually. Uh, I think Ken's very balanced, so mm -hmm. um, and he seems really fun to play too. So um, yeah, I think I could see a lot of people using Ken as a secondary character down the road. Yeah, well, um, and probably v Vega. It would probably be like a, a toss up between yeah. Ken and Vega, maybe for the last spot for me. So so far, the characters that are uh, neglected from our list are Zengif, uh, Rashid, Nakali. Karen, Fang, Fong, Dalzim. That's weird. Dalzim, like, actually, shit. I, I, no, yeah. That, that's, what, that's, what, that's what's awesome about this game, right? It's really hard. Yeah, it's, it's really hard. It's, it's, it's really extremely hard. hard. No one can tell you for sure, you know? Yeah. It's, it, it's extremely hard because now that I, I think I totally forgot about Karen. I think yeah. Karen. <laughs> See, you can make a case for everybody, really. Yeah. No, this, like, is, this is the thing. Uh, Karen and Cammy. If you're if you're a really good player, then your Karen and Cammy is gonna be amazing. Yeah. Uh, like there's, like I, I think um, I've told Long about this already, but uh, Cammy's like she's really basic. Like she's not necessarily really like fun to play either, because her approach is like very like lean. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's very straightforward. Yeah. It's very Cammy. It's it's nothing <laughs> like it's nothing you haven't really seen in past Street Fighter games. Mm -hmm. But but goddamn, if you're if you can read your opponent, if you can. Never miss her easy ass combos. Uh, if you have a, a good read using her V skill, like yeah, you're gonna be really scary. And those Kami's yeah. are the ones that are like really hard to beat. Mm -hmm. I feel the same with Karen. Like scrubs that pick Karen, they just do overhead from full screen away and whatever, <laughs> right? like yeah, yeah. They're, they're nothing to you guys, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's yeah. definitely fun that uh, everyone's list is different. But yeah, so, yeah. So are we saying that? Because um, I mean, Nikali has a good argument too. I mean, uh, she has a I, command so grab. Good damage, 
um, minus two, which is the, 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 the magical number in this game. It, even with all that, I would actually say Nakali is the worst character in the game. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Don't. No, no way. No, no. no, no. Just, all right. Just because I can't think of anyone else. I think the call is the worst. Who else? How about, how about I, Fang? How about Fang? That birdie. Fang or birdie? Fang or birdie? Fang is probably better. Come on. Fang, I mean, if you... I mean, just, just thinking about the potential of Fang. Is Fang's annoyingness. I think he's better than those characters. Dude, I, I cannot believe you're saying this. This is... <laughs> No, I, no, I can't believe I'm saying it either. I like, I actually like playing the Kali, but I'm like, when I thought about it more, I was like, hey, he's just, he's probably the worst. Like, he, all right, he has a. a you think, there. you think, all right, here, he, like, we. He beat Arturo we, Sanchez, kinda, okay? Yesterday. Yeah, uh, okay, okay, okay. We, we kind of think Rashid is the worst character. It's like. Are you serious? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> The same you're, reaction, you're, you're the just same trolling reaction. me. <laughs> the same reaction I said. What? <laughs> what? No. Um, no, no, that's cool though. I mean, that's actually crazy. Like, yeah, everyone like, has a different idea of what's actually good. It's like Nikali and and uh, Fang over here. Wow. As the the bottom tier characters. Yeah, the two worst characters. I think Rashid is like super annoying. Like, I think Rashid is. Somehow more annoying than than uh, El Forte. Like uh, I can see that. Never. That'll never happen, dude. No. Yeah. El Forte. I hate that character. <laughs> well, I mean, like uh, oh. you, you, you played Sagat, so you had to deal with his. Oh my his, god. His, his, his yeah, you had to. You had to guess. You're extra guessy. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but Rashid makes everybody guess. Uh, kind of. Uh, it's not, not that bad. bad. It's not that I, bad because if you not, know what he's doing, then you don't have to guess that much. It's not as bad as like lower in your face. Oh you know? yeah. Oh definitely not. That's I like, would, that's our I would, bottom tier, according to Joe. Don't listen to me. Listen to the guy that wrote the guide, please. Don't no, listen to me. No, see, uh, I no, I, I you can make an argument for that too. Yeah. I can totally see that, but it's just But honestly, uh, Honestly, I do think a lot of it comes down to the lack of experience and and like what each region has. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, we, yeah. like we, there is a Rashid over here that's you know pretty good, and then there's a guy that uses Fong pretty well. You know, so it's, I think it's just based on our experience. And I, you know, in six months, man, I, I'm pretty sure we'll have a nice like. All right, maybe these characters are good, and these characters are kind of sort of lacking. But in the meantime, while the game is developing, I think. Capcom did a really good job at making us or, or allowing us to have this conversation where right. you're saying, what the hell are you talking about? And I'm saying, no, what the <laughs> hell are you talking about? You know, it's cool. So it's, um, they, they definitely did a great job, man. So, I yeah. Think, I think there is, uh, there's one thing that a lot of people aren't really doing, probably because they're not used to it yet, but um, the gaps between frame traps that every character uses, like there's a lot of frame traps that people are doing that can get interrupted by three frame moves. And, right. and of course, in this game, it's not easy to interrupt. I mean, it's not hard to interrupt it either. I think that's going to be happening a lot at high level play real soon. Um, there's a lot of frame traps people are using that aren't real, and they mm. just don't know. Mm. Yeah. That, that's actually why I switched my. Uh, I do with Nash, instead of doing crouch, medium punch, crouch, medium punch, I do crouch, medium punch, back, medium kick now. Because I figured out that a three frame, a three frame jab might actually get between that. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, the back medium kick actually stops that. So, yeah, it's trying to finish that. Right? Yeah, it's five, five frames. Yeah. Yeah. Let's give Capcom props on their um, their new uh, reversal wake up option. Uh, like, uh, what's it called? Uh, their their feature the, that's now in the game. Where like the wait, the, the leniency. No, no, the, the computer will stick out a oh, at, the, at the fastest. Yeah, time. yeah. You mean the, the training mode option, the record wake up option? That's it's it's so good. Yeah, no, I told you. Yeah, yeah. I told you <laughs> that shit is so sick. The, yeah. <laughs> the guard one too is really good. Yes, yeah, yeah. You know what's really weird? Why they haven't? Like, I don't know why they haven't done this yet. Because it's so. It's like it's common sense. Like you know when you're having when you're recording like a certain sequence, like yeah. and then of course like you want to have the dummy blocking obviously. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, you can't do that yet, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's like uh, it's kind of common sense for like for good players, but I guess it's not. I guess people don't really want it since they're not really saying it that much but i mean you guys want that for sure right but when you're like testing out like a like a block sequence or something yeah, like yeah that, and you're sure. hating someone it's, t it's totally different the frames are off now right so so i mean you just have to like time it somehow with your 
Yeah, you just have to put it like you just have to imagine it, right? You just have to imagine <laughs> why you're doing it, but <laughs> yeah, I think that's that should be included down the road, sure. All right, all right, Joe. I think this is it because we don't have anything else to talk about. We did it. I think so. Unless yeah, we, we did. Talk about Geef Walking Seven Twenty. <laughs> Our last uh, thing on the list. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's that's it, cheap. That's definitely cheap. <laughs> I mean, it's cheap. It's, cheap. it's cheap, but it's not tech. <laughs> it's just like yeah. doing a 720. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck you. Fuck the stupid character. Delete this character. <laughs> fuck. Uh, have you played um, Snake Eyes Online? I have not played Snake Eyes Online, no. Hmm. I, I'm, I do see room for there being like... like he's just going to sneak up into the tiers somehow. I, I do see that's possible. Uh, I don't, I, and maybe this seven walking seven twenty thing is a thing that starts it off or something. But his V trigger, <laughs> his his super, um, I do think that there's potential there. Yeah, I I I don't think, and you know, he, here we go again arguing about the top five. Like I'm sure he's going to be top five on someone's list. Yeah, yeah I for actually, sure. I actually, I actually think Snake even said that he thinks Geef might be top five now. Yeah, I <laughs> feel like I might have heard that somewhere, but um. You know, I don't think he's bad. I think he has all all the tools he might need for the game. You know what I'm saying? Like with the his V skill, being able to pattern stuff. Like I was watching him play that Nash player. Now I'm like, he's he's really just eating Nash's normals and fucking scooping them like at free will. I'm like, wow, this is this is kind of crazy. Mm. So I mean, I don't know. I I think he has what he needs to be good and actually compete with the rest of the cast. So I do see him, like you said, kind of climbing soon and you know being someone's top five. I would just like there to like like I want people to stop feeling sorry for grapplers and be like let's just give them like more assistance on uh, <laughs> on getting closer like I I like, hate this I hate this design like I hate <laughs> this like so much like I right, their, their weakness should be projectiles but let's give them some way to get over projectiles like, what the <laughs> fuck stop it no stop giving me the ways over projectiles like he shouldn't be able to parry shit god damn it yeah anyway. <laughs> yeah, but, but I mean, grapplers, they, I mean, they get sympathy all day. Like, I know, like, I know. Something happened, like, they were, they're all orphans or something. Uh, <laughs> like, it's all good. Like, it's okay. It's okay, man. But Bison? Fuck Bison, man. God damn it. He's, hey, he, he can a teleport. He got, he's a teleport. He's a teleport. <laughs> yeah, he's got a sick teleport, man. He's, he's got a cave. Don't worry. He's got a sick teleport. He's got purple yeah. shit coming out of his hands when he does move. Yeah. Dude, his wind pose is sick. You go like this? Yeah, dude, he, fix, he fixes his hair. hair. That's, That's sick. sick, dude. He fixes his hair, man. That's gangster. <laughs> top five. Top five. <laughs> That's top five. <laughs> top five fucking uh, wind pose. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks, guys, for tuning in to the Jump, uh, the jump In podcast. Um, just before we sign out, I want you guys to uh, just let you guys know that we have um, our podcast now uploaded on iTunes. Um, SoundCloud and YouTube, of course. Um, please, uh, I'll include the links down below. And uh, subscribe and follow to those. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks, Joe, for coming. You're welcome, the guys. Yeah, of course, man. Thank you. Yeah, guys thanks for a lot. Me. Seriously. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. You're welcome. It was good talking to you again. <laughs> Don't be a stranger. And I'll see you Never. again, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Later, guys. Later. Good night, guys. <laughs>